Hi, seventh graders. I hope your week of math is going well. Um, we are taking a bit of a different approach today. Think of today as Pi Day at school. Um, we have just gotten to the part of our geometry unit where we're going to start using Pi. And before we just jump right in, I wanted to take some time to really learn about Pi because it is a crazy number. Um, so today I'm going to tell you briefly what Pi is. Then you are going to have a chance to do some learning about Pi by watching one kind of really educational video, one kind of fun video, and then you're going to try out a Pi activity. Um, but first let's talk about what Pi is. So yesterday we learned about the diameter, the circumference, the radius, and the center. Pi concerns the diameter and the circumference. And pi is how you actually get from the diameter to the circumference. So here's a circle. The diameter is 2, and the circumference is 6.28. If I didn't know the circumference, I could find it by doing 2 times 3.14, which is my approximation for pi. Remember that pi is a decimal that goes on forever? and it never ends, so we round it, usually to 3.14 because that's close enough for what we're doing. 2 times 3.14 gets us 6.28, which is our circumference. You can also go backwards. If you know just the circumference, if I know that the circumference is 6.28 and I divide that by pi, I'm going to get 2, which is my diameter. So it's just this crazy property that mathematicians a long time ago figured out. For every circle, this is true. If you multiply the diameter by pi, you get the distance around the circle. And since they figured that out, they figured out a lot of other things that pi does, which you'll learn about today. So move on to the Padlet, show us what you already know about pi. Then watch some videos. Then try out an activity. There's three of them. One of them is do a pi art project. One of them is do a like math experiment at home is what I'm calling it. It's a super simple experiment that you have all the stuff you need to do at home. Or there's a website where you can like look up different numbers in Pi. The um, assessment at the end of this is going to be a Flipgrid video um, where you are taking a video of yourself or of a wall and you talking if you don't want to be in the video. Um, there, It will tell you how to do it. There's a video showing you how to do it. And then you have to try that. So that's a new exciting thing we're trying today. Other than that, good luck.